All right, everybody. Um, in this presentation, what we're looking on is a question for um, CXC July 2021, and it's a coordinate geometry question. So it reads, um, the diagram below shows two lines, L1 and L2. The equations of L1 is x plus 2x equal, x plus 2y equal 10. The line L2 passes through the point 0, 05 and is perpendicular to L1. All right, so there it is. We got some information um, regarding two lines, L1 and L2. L1 is perpendicular to L2. All right, so there it is. We're looking at the diagram. First question says express. Express, here's the question. It says express the equation of L1 in the form y equal to mx plus c. All right, so basically what we're being asked to do is one, we're being asked to, to write this. This is for L1. This is L1 here. We're being asked to take this and to write it in the form y equal to mx plus c. Basically, what we're going to do is simply transpose, right? So we want to transpose this. So we have y is equal to mx plus c. But we got, we got it in this form. It says x plus 2y is equal to 10. So basically what we want to do is to isolate everything and get the y by itself. So we will be subtracting x from both sides. So basically we'll have 2y is equal to negative x plus 10. And if you're being asked what happened here, we subtract x from both sides here. We subtracted x there and we subtracted x from this side as well. So I rearrange it to have the the x part that comes before the 10. At this time, we're gonna divide everything by two. And in dividing this by two, we end up with y is equal to negative x over two plus five. All right, so that's the format that we were asked to write the equation in. And so basically it's a transposition question would have gotten the mark for that. Y equal to half. So we could just write it on the line. Y is equal to negative half X plus five. All right. The, the part two to this question says, state the gradient of L1. Having had it written in this form, definitely we can, um, state the gradient, we can state the gradient. The gradient is the coefficient of the x here. So technically this is a negative half x, or you could say negative x over two. So the gradient for this is gonna be negative a half, all right? So that's the number here, negative a half from that. All right, so it's a one mark question again. So negative a half, remember when you're writing the gradient of of, of the lines, make sure that you're actually representing y alone. So transpose making y the subject first, then you can put the gradient after that. So the gradient is, as you could see, negative half. All right, let's go further down. Um, going down further, it says, hence, determine the equation of line two. Remember from top, we could, we could take a quick look at what um, the, the, the the narrative was from the top. So the narrative from the top here was actually suggesting, as you could see, that the two lines are perpendicular. Line one is perpendicular to, to line two here. And we, we, we were given the fact that line two actually passes through zero five. All right, so when lines are perpendicular, their gradient will share a special relationship. So we're just gonna um, we're just gonna deal with that right right about now. Hence, determine the equation of line two. 
What's the information? We understand that line one and line two are perpendicular, all right? So we can say that line one is perpendicular to, to line two. So because line one is perpendicular to line two, and we know that line one gradient, the gradient of line one was negative a half, right? So this was the slope for line one. So if line one slope is negative a half, therefore line two, which is a negative reciprocal, Reciprocal means to turn upside down. So we're going to go flip and then change the sign. So this was negative, so this one is positive. So this is the slope for line two. So having had a slope and understand that it passes through zero, negative five, this is going to help us to do the equation for line two. The thing is though, this is finished because if I have a zero as my coordinate, that means I'm on the y-axis. So C is already negative five and M, which is the slope is two. Therefore the equation is gonna be Y is equal to two X minus five, all right? So that is the, that is simply um, the equation of line L2.